Many of you might know what this is. It's called a strawberry pot. And traditionally, it's planted with strawberries. But a few years ago, I started to plant these pots with succulents. Succulents are long-lived. They don't take very much care at all. And if you forget to water them, you know in a week or two, they'll still be alive. Fill the pot with a mixture of planting soil. It should have about uh, two parts of planting medium to one part of sand, and also have quite a bit of perlite mixed in with the soil. The bottom hole is always covered with a piece of screening, a piece of screening like this, or a shard of an old broken pot. Let's start with these. I don't know the names of all these plants. They have so many different names, so many different uh, descriptions. You have to get these roots so that they'll fit into the hole. So I'm just compressing the soil and I'm not breaking off the roots. Be real careful that you keep the roots. I'm going to pull this through this top hole. And it's good to start off with small material. That way you can just insert in the hole. Let's get something that's small. Here's a pretty little one that'll look nice cascading down the side of the pot. Again, compress the roots so that they can insert it right here. A lot of these pots were started just with one minor cutting in each opening. That'll do nicely. Oh, I love this one. It has a little bit of the very popular chartreuse color. Divide this. I like to do this dividing with my fingers rather than with a knife, just because I can very gently break the roots apart. And just continue as you come up the jar, add more of the uh, soil to the pot. This is going to need watering every week. Just make sure you insert a little bit of water in each of the openings. This is pretty. There, every hole around the sides is filled. And now we just need a little bit more of our medium. This will hold all those plants in place. You can press from the inside to further secure the plants in their openings. And now I'm going to take this unusual thing and just stick it right here in the top of the pot. Very attractive. And around it place our little, more ordinary little chicks and hens. Oh, don't forget, if you're going to be doing this too, you can add a little bit of Osmocote or any other uh, pellet-like slow-release fertilizer, just a little bit, because these succulents thrive in a very non-nutritious environment, so you don't have to worry too much about giving them too much fertilizer. But they like a little bit of food, just like all of us. Now, water it in. And here, if you pay just a little bit of attention to this strawberry pot, in a couple months you'll have something very unpredictable. Not a strawberry pot at all, a succulent pot.